Hi guys, it's been a while since I've been on a video blog. I've been on the road for a couple of weeks doing a trainings in uh, Maryland for Rick uh, McDaniel. And I just came back, um, back to doing my regular blogs. And as I usually when I put a blog in written form, I usually like to follow it with a video blog to just basically enhance the ideas. And today I wrote about this thing that everybody's crazed about called cloud computing. Basically, it's a simple idea when you think about it. You already use it. It's basically when your devices are not used to store anything or to do any computing. So basically, you have a device where you don't have to install any software. Just think of it that way. And where you put all of your stuff on the Internet. Now, a lot of people go going, Key, you're simplifying it too much. I'm not. That's really what it is. Um, iCloud, <laughs> the thing that just came out from uh, Google, uh, from uh, Apple, is basically about you buying your music, and instead of them, you downloading it to a device, what do you do? You put it on this storage, and then you access it with your devices. Now, that a lot of these ideas make sense, and you want to be able to understand them, but just understand that cloud computing is just a marketing term for where your information is either going to be or where you're going to do your computing. For example, many people have been using cloud computing for many years. Gmail is a perfect example. Do you know when you have a Gmail account, which is by the way free, you can also write through Google Docs, you can write, you can do presentations, you can do analysis using uh, a spreadsheet, you can run your calendar, you could do whatever you want. Therefore, the software that is doing the manipulation of the data is not installed on your laptop, it's just installed on somebody else's server. Now, here's the problem with cloud computing that I see and why people are not embracing it in droves. It's because we've become a society of gotchas. We try to get you. And the terms and conditions are always changing. And people are tired of that. I know you are tired of it. You, they tell you today something, and then tomorrow they change the terms, and guess what? You have to obey by them. Uh, credit card companies do that. Um, you name it. Uh, how many of you have read the software agreements that comes when you download the piece of software, even if it's free? It's like a 20-page document written very small by some lawyer who wants to make sure that you have no rights and you have all of the rights. Now, we understand that. You understand that. So what is it that an agent, a real estate agent, should kind of wrap their mind around with uh, uh, what I call cloud computing? First, you need to know that you already understand it. Second, the best cloud computing you can use right now is YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Do you understand that when you take a video, it has a particular size? It's probably 100 megs, 200 megs, whatever. Well, you don't have enough storage on your website, so put it on YouTube and share it with your friends. The second one that everybody understands is uh, it's becoming more and more popular now. It's called Dropbox. Well, Dropbox is basically storage on the Internet that is secure, where you put your information there, documents, uh, PDFs, pictures, videos. Uh, I don't know where you would put videos there unless they're private videos that you can share with everyone else. The third one, I mean, I already mentioned it, is Google Docs. But do you understand that the best cloud computing is your website? See, if you had the proper website, all of your ideas, stories, blogs, videos, pictures, what you do, how you do it, how successful you are, your listings, your agency, everything would be in your container on the Internet. Well, the Internet is a cloud. By the way, they call it the cloud because that means you don't know where to grab it. It's the cloud. It's just a marketing term. So... Don't, let, don't get too disconnected and disoriented by these terms that are bandied about by these companies. They're trying to make the consumer consume um, things on the Internet a lot more easily. Uh, but Amazon will tell you 
they've had a lot of problems recently. Uh, hacks happen all the time. So here's my rule. If I put it on the cloud, it means anybody will have it. So I'm not, it's going to be fair game. So I'm not going to worry about anything I put on the cloud because somebody else is going to steal it or manipulate it or dis, you know, disengage it or make it uh, not work for me. Understand that your job as the marketer is to tell your story. And the best places to tell your story is your website. I hope you read today's blog. I'm going to put this link on the link of the blog in my YouTube video. I hope you'll enjoy it. Tell me what you think. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.